So how do you prosper with God's word? Is it even possible to make progress using the word of God and walk in prosperity? What is this true prosperity gospel that people preach about? What does the scriptures talk about? But we're going to learn more about that in today's daily devotional. If you're first time watching, I want to welcome you. It's your boy Mundus every single day or every other day. I try to get deep in the word. So let's, without further ado, we're going to study God's word that's going to enlighten you how to make progress, how to prosper using God's word. And that's important. Uh, that's an important piece of information that you need right now. So without further ado, let's get into the scriptures. I use a daily devotional that I call, uh, it's called Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. So he helps us study the word. So today's title, like I said, we're talking about prosperity, prospering through God's word. And our theme scripture is taken from the book of uh, Ezra. You know, this is one of the books that you, you never hear of. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. I'm going to read this and then we can start just dissecting the scriptures together. It says, And the elders of the Jews built it, and they prospered through the prophesying, of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of God of Israel and according to the commandment of Cyrus Darius Axestus Axestus king of Persia so let me read the first paragraph we can talk about this you know um so today's devotion says the new international version renders the above verse like this so the elders of the jews continued to build and prosper under the preaching of Haggai the prophet and zachariah a descendant of Edo idol notice the underlying words in the verse these two prophets Haggai and zachariah brought them the word of god and the result was the encouragement of the people and they grew and multiplied so this is amazing we're talking about prosperity through the word and this is talking about the children of Israel when we were going back uh, after they were in captivity and they had to go back and build the temple. And he said, this only happened, they issued decrees, the, the, the king, I think it was Darius or whatever, issued decrees, hey, let them go build our temple. But just the fact like something, you're supposed to do something does not mean you completely. He said, they built, they went forth and started building a temple, but they prospered. It was not, they didn't prosper because necessary is based on what they were told go build the temple here's everything because if you go read that um that whole verse that whole chapter go back to the beginning he talks about how the king issued a decree he said let the children of israel go build a temple give them everything they'll need all the the the, the, the stones all the money they require all the labor they need let them go build a temple so everything was made as a provision for them to go build this temple but the scriptures give us a different insight it says yes the be build but they prospered, not because um, all these other provisions were made available, or whatever they required, they required. Because people have provisions for so many things, but nothing gets done. He said they prospered by the prophesying, by the preaching. So we discover a mystery of why God sends preachers. <laughs> this is so big, and this is amazing. Because we, we let, let's this we 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 doing some um i like to do we on a bible study so we, we're doing a lot of teaching today so we know this important thing it says they, they build it they build it how do you spell build it and they prospered through preaching so prosperity um came we can establish it prosperity came or came through preaching and it was through to this this we, we're trying to establish a pattern here because we're trying to make a connection so bear with me we, we're going somewhere with this so we we see prosperity number one they prosper through the preaching who was preaching he says it was it was two prophets it was Haggai and zechariah huh so we see the importance of preaching because a lot of people have, 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 have made look like, oh, yeah, you just go to church and listen to someone preach, preach. What's the whole point of preaching? You could be working. You need money. But God gives us a mystery here. We find a secret. He said they built it. And it was successful. Uh, let's go back here because we you, you need to look at that scripture in context. If we look at the NIV version uh, that, that was quoted in the Rhapsody, he said 
the NIV version say, so the elders of the Jews continue to build. They continue to build and prosper under the preaching of Haggai, the prophet, and Zechariah. So they, they continue to build and they continue to prosper under the preaching. Preaching was going on. There was words being issued. So the question is, what was being preached? These people preached. They were not just saying, um, sorry, excuse that. They were not just saying, let me just get rid of that for a second. Uh, let's go back here. So yeah, I'm talking about, so they were, they were not preach, preaching. What were they preaching? So it's, it's prosperity came through preaching. But not just ordinary preaching. They were prophets. They were people sent, prophets of God. But what were they preaching? They were preaching the word of God. This, they're obviously not just talking to them. They were preaching the word. That's why we say we're talking about prosperity through the word. So if 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 you went this this prosperity came this one prosperity. If you go here, prosperity comes through the word. So people, you can just skip and say, hey, yes, prosperity comes through the word. But you need to understand there was preaching involved first. The word came through preaching. If Haggai and Zechariah didn't preach, they won't prosper. So this is important. This is a key. Let's keep on reading so you can you can look at this. Um, so the, today's we have to say that's amazing. It tells us the place of the word, the importance and the trans transforming power of God's word. It makes no difference if you're into business or you're a student, irrespective of your vocation, you need the word for your life. There's no substitute for that. You have to keep learning and meditating on the word of God for your guidance, encouragement, strength. Through the ministry of the word, the wisdom and skill you require for the next level, I impart it to you. The word helps to build your spirit strong so you can face anything and win in any situation. So the word of God carries the the the, the uh, it's like a it's like um the way I put it is like when you're constructing a house, this is what the word of God does. You're constructing a house in your life. You're building something in your life in your relationship with your kids, your family, and the word of God gives you those building materials in your spirit. So it's beyond you saying, oh yeah yeah the word of God. I just use it for motivation or to feel spiritual. I go to church to feel spiritual. No. This is an integral part of your life. The word of God is, is you need it in your life because it will give you the skills for whatever job. If you're a student, if you're a mom, you need that word. They said they were building, they were built, there was as the, as they were building. What does building have to do with the word of God? They could have been like, yeah, let us build, just give us the materials. We we have the hammer, like yeah, the men are constructing. What does the preachers being there just preaching to them do anything? Like, yo, let us preach. I mean, let us uh, build. You can preach to us on Sunday. But God knew with everything. To be successful, you need God's word. So as I, as they were building, the, the 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 prophets were preaching to them the word, encouraging them, motivating them, strengthening them, and the wisdom and the skills that they needed to build a temple was being granted them. So it's the same way as we're going to work, as you're going to work, as you're working on your business, you you need to hear the word of God as your student, and He's giving you the skills that you will use. Um, the skills that you use for your life, it will build you up. That's what the word of God does. And it will transform your life. So let's keep on reading this, Father. It says, God surely does have a plan for your success. He has made adequate provision for your prosperity. But he doesn't do anything outside his word. In the book of John, third episode of John chapter 1 verse 2 said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Even as thy soul prospers, your soul prospers through conscious meditation on the word. So the word of God is what builds us up and gives us our inheritance. Let me show you actually this. This is in the book of the book of Acts, chapter 20. Let's go read this. Uh wow, the amplifier version says Acts chapter 20, verse 32. And now, brethren, this was the Paul's last words before he was leaving him. He says, And now, brethren, I commit you to God. I deposit you in his charge, entrusting you in his protection, 
and I commend you. This is where we go. And I commend you to the word of his grace, to the commands and counsels and promises of his unmerited favor. He says the word of his grace is able to build you up and give you your rightful inheritance among all of God's set apart ones, those concentrated, purified, and transformed. He said the word is able to build you up and give you your rightful inheritance. So this is not something that you hear when people say, um, so I'm, I'm spiritual, you need to balance the, they say, um, physical, financial, when they have goals, these are my financial goals, spiritual goals, uh, and they separate these things to, to act like the spirit side of your life is just in one area for Sunday, you know, the duty you're doing is not part of, is, is a part of your life. But the word of God is everything. He says it's able to build you up in everything. It is in everything. And it gives you the inheritance you need. You need to reach to that next level in your life, your inheritance. The word of God delivers the inheritance. The inheritance, God has given us all these things, but how can we make them work? It's by when we listen to the word of God, the spirit of God gives, delivers what belongs to us, to us. He shows us how we can walk um, in what belongs to us. How we can maneuver in already what's being granted us. That's what the Spirit of God does. But you can't come just by uh, you know just thinking thinking about it or hard. No, He said the Word of God will give it to you. It is a ministry of the Word to hand you your inheritance. Oh my God, that's amazing. So I want to take this prayer together. I want to say this prayer. This is amazing. So confession, actually, let's confess the Word together. I want you to say this. I'm yielded to the ministry of the Word of God in my life. I'm the seed of Abraham, blessed to be a blessing. I prosper by the word and in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You can study further in the book of First Timothy. Oh, that's a big one. Chapter 4, verse 15 and Acts chapter 20, verse 15. Let's go read First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 15. That's going to bless you tremendously. So let me look at First Timothy chapter 4 talking about the word of God so so first Timothy chapter 4 verse says he says practice and meditate on these duties throw you know what let me read uh, the King James because it says meditate upon these things give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. He says, give yourself completely to the word and people will see your progress. Not halfway, not something you do on the side. No, he says, the word of God is everything. Completely give yourself to it and your progress will be seen. Amazing realities. Um, you can read a whole Bible in one year or two years so you can pick a plan that works for you right there. And if you're watching this, I want to pray with you, by the way, but before I pray for everyone else, I want to pray if you're not born again, I want to pray for you that you might receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. All these blessings of the word belongs to the children of God. The word of God only builds up God's kids. He doesn't talk about the word of God for people that are not born again. You need to receive God's word and receive salvation. That's how the word of God builds you up because you become born of the word. And it's a simple prayer you can say. So I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation. I want you to say this after me. So just say this after me. Just say, oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from his day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. If you say that prayer, you are born again. It's as simple as that. Your life has been changed. You are born of God's word. Now you need to know how to live this life and walk in this life. And I have several videos in this channel. It's going to help you out. Make sure you go watch this, a playlist called Foundation School. That's the perfect place to start. That will build your faith up. And welcome to the family. And for anyone else, everyone else that's watching, I pray the blessings of God remain with you and with your house. You walk in dominion. You walk in excellence. And you're productive in everything that you do. You're productive. You produce results. You're that tree that's planted by the riverside that prospers no matter the conditions, no matter the economy. You're always on top, not beneath, ahead only. You move forward. 
you make progress in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amazing. Wow, 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 wow. So I appreciate each and every one of you for joining me in today's daily devotional. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. Make sure, leave me a comment. Let me know what is the biggest lesson you've learned from today's devotional. Let it, let everyone else know about it. Put it in the comment section and everyone else will be blessed by it. So make sure you like this video. Also share it with your friends. It's important. I have several more videos coming up in this channel. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. I'm, I'm, I'm planning to release a video now every monday 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 to thursday so daily every monday to thursday uh, you know and sometimes in videos in between so make sure you tune in you don't want to miss any video so until next time it's been your boy mundus be victorious and prosperous in all you do